Hello, beautiful people. My name is Drew Diorsi, and I'm so excited to have you here on my YouTube channel today, especially because we're going to be talking about how to manifest more wealth into your life. And we're going to be using Dr. Joe Dispenza's success formula. So if you are familiar with Dr. Joe Dispenza's work, you are going to absolutely love today's video because I'm going to give you a step-by-step, -step, really practical, easy-to-follow formula that is going to help you manifest more wealth into your life. And if you fully integrate the, the teachings that you will be learning in this video, the ones that resonate with you, of course, and the ones that excite you and just kind of disregard the rest, you will not recognize your life in six months time. You are going to be living with so much more wealth and so much more abundance that life is going to be epic. You're going to have more freedom to do the things that you really want to do because ultimately that's what wealth allows us to do. It gives us the freedom to do more things. So I'd be really curious to know what you are going to do when you have more wealth and more abundance in your life. So if you can do me a huge favor, comment down below and let me know the number one, the first thing you're going to do when you have more money in your life. For me, it was always I wanted to travel, but because I didn't have much money in my life, I, I couldn't. I always was just kind of, I remained stuck. I couldn't go anywhere because I didn't have any money. And then I started to follow this formula to the T, to the best of my ability, with patience and with persistence. And within a short period, I had a ton of money in my bank account, and then I got rid of my place in Denver. I didn't need it anymore. Got rid of my apartment, and I just started to live nomadically. Went to Phoenix for a couple months, Austin, Texas for a couple months, Miami for a couple months, New York City. Next week, I'm going to Costa Rica for a month. And I've only been able to do this because I followed this formula. Formula. And I am so confident that if you follow this formula, you are going to be able to manifest so much wealth and so much abundance in your life. So let's get at it. If you haven't commented down below yet, please do so. Let us know what you're going to do when you have more money, more wealth in your life. Now, before we get into the, the real step-by-step -step practical, easy to follow formula, I want to highlight the biggest problems and the biggest misconceptions people run into when trying to manifest more wealth in their life. And I'll share with you a personal story. Whenever I started to read personal development books, Joe Dispenza books, um, Think and Grow Rich, Awaken the Giant Within, Tony Robbins stuff, Brenda Bouchard stuff, Mel Robbins, Jen Cicero, all these books, they started to like wake me up to my potential. They started to kind of wake me up to what I was capable of. And I started to get really excited, um, setting massive goals in my life. And I started to realize the things that I wanted badly in my life. I wanted better aesthetics. I wanted better relationships. I wanted more money in my life. At the time I was broke, I wanted more money. And for whatever reason, perhaps I just misunderstood the books that I was reading or the information wasn't in those books, I don't know. But for whatever reason, I remained in this wanting state of being. I identified what I wanted and then I remained in this wanting state of being. In other words, I kept feeling like the things that I really wanted were outside of me and I, I just kept yearning and, and as a result, because I kept feeling like I wanted something, the universe would reflect back to me my feeling state and gave me more reasons to want wealth. In other words, I wasn't getting paid. In other words, people didn't want to work with me. In other words, my boss wasn't giving me very much money because the universe was simply reflecting back to me the state of being that I was most residing in. And that state of being was I wanted more money. So the universe kept giving me reasons to want more money. Hopefully this is making sense. And then perhaps it was Joe Dispenza's work, Neville Goddard's work, Joseph Murphy's work. 
that started to reinforce the importance of using the quantum field and tapping into the emotional state that I associate with having my goal achieved and how if I want to manifest something external, I have to tap into that quantum field now, even before that thing is made manifest and crystallized and hardened into fact, okay? I had to tap into that now. So that's when I started to follow this formula. Okay. So the high level solution here is identify something that you want and then immediately jump into the emotional state that you associate with having that thing in your life. Do not remain in the wanting phase because the universe will keep giving you reasons to want something, right? So let's lay out the step-by-step -step formula. Number one, get clear with what you want. Okay. Number two is identify where that thing lives on the quantum field. In other words, step two is identify the emotional state that you associate with having that thing made manifest in your life. How are you going to feel once you have that thing in your life? Step two is identify and get clear with that. And then step three is tap into that emotional state on a consistent basis, okay? You can do this with either one of Joe Dispenza's uh, meditations, or you can download my free guided meditation in the description down below that I created to specifically help you tap into the state of your wish fulfilled. So again, step three is tap into that emotional state. Do it for a prolonged period of time, um, anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes, at least once a day. And then what I encourage you to do is do it for short bits, just repeatedly throughout the day so you get a lot of reps in. So rather than just doing it once in the morning or the evening and then letting the program influence the rest of your day, you do it once and then you're doing it all day as well just to keep tapping into that quantum field. So when you do this, everything's going to shift because you are now going to be tapped into this new quantum field. And because it's a universal law that the universe is going to reflect back to you your emotional state in due time, because you are feeling wealthy, you are feeling abundant, the number in your bank account is going to increase. Just be patient, be persistent. Remain faithful. This is so key. And if you do this formula and you tap into the emotional state every day, multiple times a day, within six months, everything is going to be different in your life. But the most important thing that I want to get across here is you have to be persistent. Just keep at it, keep tapping into that quantum field, keep tapping into the emotional state and everything is going to shift. That's it for today's video. I hope it helped you. If it did, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date. Please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, comment down below what you're going to do when you have more health and more abundance in your life. My name is Judy Orsi. It's been an absolute pleasure to share some Joe Dispenza wisdom with you and to simply help you create your best life ever. Thank you so much. I love you. Talk to you guys later.